Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So if you're new to this channel, hi, I'm Rebecca. But if you're already subscribed, welcome back. As you can see from the title below, today I'll be sharing with you guys how I avoid being burnt out as a medical student and how I stay motivated. I feel that there's a need for me to make this video because a lot of you have actually asked me how to avoid being burnt out just because you guys are super stressed and overwhelmed with medical school. Honestly, I still get that because my life is filled with constant changes and there's a lot of stress as well. In a way, we're kind of in the same situation that's why i'm making this video to share about how i prevent myself from being burnt out you do not want to reach a stage where you get burnt out that is such a disaster because you will just stop and not do anything at all yep so let's just get started okay number one i make sure to set achievable and realistic goals every single day for me it's really important to have both short-term and long-term goals this is because short-term goals just help you to keep going and be productive every single day so i just have a little notebook just for me to write down the things that I need to get done every day and it's kind of personal so I can't really show that much it's like this I fill it up every single day and I make sure that I get every single thing done one thing important to note here is that make sure you don't write too less or too many goals every day this is because if you write down too less you won't be productive but if you write too many you'll be overwhelmed with the things that you have to do even on days that I don't study like during the weekend or during my semester break I would still use this notebook to write down the things that I want to do just to keep my life on track number two I take breaks and I make sure to prioritize myself this is super 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 important and if you have been following me for a while now or you watch my previous videos you would know that I'm such a fan of taking breaks and self-care back then when I first started medical school it was super hard for me to take breaks especially during the weekends this is because I was just scared that if I don't study for a day I will be missing out which I'm telling you is not the case at all but actually I'm grateful that I went through that phase for me to figure out that it's okay to not study for a day if I haven't gone through through all of that and someone came to me and tell me that you know what you should take breaks and it's okay not to study for one to two days I would be thinking like who is this crazy person you know so to you I may be the crazy person who's telling you that it's okay to take one to two days off from medical school if you don't believe me now it's fine but just try to take the opportunity to just have a one to two days off and you will see the benefit of it so my off day is usually during the weekends it could be a Saturday or a Sunday or maybe even both it really depends on my mood when i do take breaks i don't do anything that's related to medical school now most of my friends already know that i take breaks during the weekends so most of them don't disturb me also i mentioned that i make sure to prioritize myself most of the time and being able to prioritize myself is a huge achievement for me this is because i don't usually say no to people but over the years as i grow and as i age i realized that it's perfectly fine to say no for yourself and it's totally valid to me this became really important when I entered into medical school because there's a lot of things for me to do I had to prioritize certain things just to make my life a little bit more easier so if I continue my habit of saying yes to every single request I wouldn't have time for myself I wouldn't have time to study I wouldn't have time to do the things that I like you gotta learn and teach yourself how to say no to people that's not one of the reasons why I used to say yes to every single thing is because I'm afraid that if I say no to someone what would they think of me I realized that in this busy era there's no time for you to think of other people don't get me wrong i'm not asking you to become this rude selfish person i'm just asking you to do what makes you happy it really doesn't matter what people think of you and you don't have to be afraid of that because at the end of the day you're on your own and if you're not happy everything will be just falling apart so make sure that you prioritize yourself and make yourself happy and number three i recognize and manage my stress well so what does it mean to recognize your stress it's like this let's say before entering into medical school you're someone who manages your stress really really well and your life is the most organized out of your friends basically you're the most organized most perfect person ever then you start medical school and your life suddenly becomes so fast-paced and there's a lot of stresses around you you would subconsciously let your ego affect the way that you perceive stress because you might think to yourself that oh my god I had the most perfect life ever my life was super organized back then why I can't do it now you can be in denial and you just don't want to accept the fact that you are 
are stressed out. So I would say just let down your ego a little bit and start recognizing your stresses. Okay, once you really accept the fact that you're stressed, make sure to think of ways on how to make it better or how you can pull through that stressful period. And one of the ways is to talk to your closest family members or your closest friends. I know that this may not be easy for everyone because I myself don't like to share my struggles with people. So I tend to keep it all to myself and just try to bear it all alone. But I wouldn't recommend you doing that because honestly, it's really hard for you to bear it alone. Obviously, you can trust your family members but when it comes down to friends, make sure you talk to friends who genuinely cares for you. Genuinely cares for you. You don't want to tell your problems to someone that can use that as an advantage for them, you know? Honestly, all you need is one or two friends who genuinely cares for you and you know that they are the people that you can trust. So other than talking to my sisters or my friends, I would usually listen to podcasts. So I feel that podcast is really helpful as well. I would randomly look for motivational podcasts or YouTube videos. I feel that that really helps me. Moving on, how I stay motivated is by remembering the reason why I started all of this in the first place. By forgetting the reason why you started, it's easier for you to give up. Always go back to the reason why you started this whole journey. Remember what are your end goals. I would constantly reflect on the journey that took me to where I am right now and I would think of how far I've come. That's particularly very helpful because when you reflect back on your journey, you will kind of remember all the hardship that you've been through and all of the challenges that you faced but you still got out of it alive. I always think to myself, if I have already gone through all of these challenges, hardships and all of this nonsense, what makes myself think that I won't be able to handle the things that I'm facing right now because I know that at the end of the day, I can also get out of it alive just like how I did previously. So just keep on pushing forward, you're so close to reaching your end goal. Okay, last but not least, the most important reason why I can stay sane and pull through my stressful period is because I cling on to God. There were a lot of moments in my life where I feel super stressed out and I feel that no one's actually listening to me or maybe people did listen to me but me just telling my problems doesn't take that burden off my shoulders. Those were the times that God really showed himself to me and I feel super comforted. So I always tell myself like, if God has done it before, why wouldn't he again, you know? I feel that that gave me confidence that I can do it again. As we have come to the end of the video, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video because it has been such a long time since I did this type of sit down video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to click the subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye guys!